Hello, this is the first in a series of videos on heritage gardening and um, the starting point is composting and um, a, a lot of the work that I draw on here um, was developed uh, along with this little garden which was my backyard garden with um, Titch Pesanai and we've drawn on other indigenous scholars as well um, to explore how the daily homestead sweepings were dumped as a compost heap, Izala. And Mabongi Mchali was one of the first to explore this with us. And um, it became a teaching garden for gogos, um, grandmothers. And they would teach the young women which green plants to harvest because they would see which ones were um, in the felt at a particular time because they grew around the kettle kraal. And as regard to this um, Ututu and Izala, tuning into the curriculum concerns um, is really important. And here, um, natural composting in forests and the um, dumping of rubbish in a home became uh, the focus area. For Gaba, Gaba Yegalide, um, a young youth group who started to recover the wisdom, the gold, Golide, in Oza heritage. In early times, um, homesteads had compost gardens, but a coastal outbreak of bubonic plague um, had early colonial authorities ban Ututu, the Koza um, organic dump, as insanitary. And Izala also declined in urban KwaZulu Natal, um, and it recently um, has increased with climate change, extreme weather, and um, social grants. Once one asks, well, why would social grants um, decrease the um, growing of um, compost and compost gardening? Well, mainly because people could use a small amount of money to buy vegetables, and it's actually more expensive in many cases to grow your own than to buy um, cheap vegetables. So composting plant waste, um, but excluding food waste, uh, is now being introduced by Kaba Ye um, in, in the Makanda area and also by CBOs around the country today. And this is extremely important because composting of plant waste um, is the foundation for a heritage garden. And how are things today? Well, most of the organic waste is actually thrown away in urban areas, either dumped on the side of the roads or thrown away in black plastic bags. And what does this mean to us today that we have to actually change the way we prepare vegetables and here is my um, preparations for a meal and um, put it into a little bin and the little bin will go into a compost bin for composting organic waste. Now we have a rat problem so um, one of the things that I have to do is to actually bury waste so what I do is I use an auger and dig a hole and then put the organic waste around the trees so that it composts in the ground and then will feed the plants. Or I can have a drum um, as long as I manage it so that the rats don't make a home um, in the area. So do we bury, do we bin, do we dump um, compostables? What do we do in the present time? Well, if we look back like Aba Yegolide were doing, then there's a lot to be learned by touching the past with our memories, like Mabongi and Charlie did, to feel the future flying on the wings of imagination and see how we can introduce sensible ways of turning um, waste into compost and compost into food.